Greetings from Valbari Pro Technical Support Department. My name is Jesse Zacarias. This video is going to be covering a very common code that sets on a 4L80E transmission, the PO894, also known as a transmission component slip. This is a generic code that sets any time the turbine RPM is higher than expected on a given gear ratio. This code could be set by many things. It could be set by a slip and torque converter. A worn out stator bushing will cause it, and also a slipping clutch, just to name a few. But what we're going to be covering in this uh, video is going to be we're going to be covering the role the valve body plays to contribute in setting this code. That if it's not corrected, it will allow the vehicle to come back again with the code of the P0894 time and time again. And many times we'll be blaming some other component as the problem. We're going to approach this in a number of ways. First, we're going to show you how the transmission control module controls the hydraulics of the transmission to engage the clutch. Then we're going to analyze the data on a vehicle that was having this problem. And we'll see how analyzing the transmission control module data is going to show us how this code is set. And then we're going to show you how this valve body is being tested on our valve body testing machine. So let's get started by looking first at how the transmission control module controls the hydraulics of the transmission. Next slide, please. Okay, so here we have a simplified hydraulics of the torque converter clutch in the off position. The converter feed oil comes from the pressure regulator valve, has to go through the uh, uh, co uh, converter limit valve now the job of the converter limit valve is as it implies is to limit the amount of pressure that enters the torque converter we, we don't want mainline pressure entering the, the converter so this regulated fluid that now has gone through the converter limit valve goes through the tcc enable valve and it ends up at the top of the converter clutch shift valve assisting this valve to maintain in the off position the converter feed oil also goes through this converter shift valve and enters a torque converter through the release side and comes out of the converter through the converter return line, goes through the converter clutch shift valve and ends up going through the transmission cooler, where it is returned to the transmission as so lubricated oil. This is the basics hydraulics when the torque converter clutches off. Now, as the transmission control module sees that all the parameters are just right to engage the torque converter clutch, it applies the clutch in two stages. First, it pulse width modulates the solenoid, TCC solenoid, about 30 to 40 percent. Now, that's not enough to stroke the TCC regulator valve to start regulating, but it is enough. It does produce enough solenoid oil pressure to to stroke the clutch shift valve and the TCC enable valve, as we will see on this next slide. Okay, so now. We see the converter clutch shift valve and the TCC valve have stroke to the on position. This action causes the fluid that is inside the converter to start to release. It goes through the converter clutch shift valve and then it exhausts through the TCC and naval valve at the exhaust side. The converter feed oil now also goes through the converter clutch shift valve straight to the cooler, bypassing the torque converter. Now, as the transmission control module pulse width modulates the solenoid even more, well now it starts to stroke the TCC regulator valve and now it starts to producing TCC apply oil, which is the orange we're about to see here. Now we'll see the TCC regulator stroked now it produces the um, regulated oil in orange where it starts to apply the clutch. The exhausting fluid is in the back of the converter serves as a cushion as it slowly releases the, uh, uh, the oil and the fluid that's coming in applying the clutch serves as a cushion. And this is basically how you see the uh, shift valves when the torque converter clutches on the on position. But let's concentrate on the TCC regulator valve. Next slide will show us here how 
this TCC regulator, what starts to happen is the bore, the bore inside the valve body starts to wear and so does the valve. What happens here is that the fluid, regulator fluid or TCC apply fluid starts to leak through the valve out to the exhaust. This creates a problem as we will see on the next slide. Okay, so what we're looking here is at a transmission control module data that was sent to us from a vehicle that had this problem we're talking about. This was a plumber's van full of plumber's tools and equipment. You can imagine how fully loaded it was. Now, this transmission shop, what they did is they did everything possible to make this transmission survive out there because they knew that it was put under severe use. But about four months later, this uh, vehicle comes back with this code, the P0894 code. So they pulled out the transmission, they disassembled it, but they couldn't find anything wrong. Everything in fact looked pretty good. So what they did is they blamed the converter, threw in another torque converter, and out it went. Only to come back another five months later with the same code. This time they gave us a call, so we asked them to send us a movie, which is the one we're looking at right now, so we could analyze it. And as you can see here, in this, uh, uh, let me get the pointer here. So as you can see, uh, the transmission control module uh, modulates about 40-50% first, then it starts to ramp up the uh, duty cycle. And what it's expecting to see here is it expecting the uh, transmission could uh, TCC slip to drop below 100 RPM, preferably zero, but anything, any slip above 100 RPM is going to set this code. So as we can see here, it attempted, it increased the TCC duty cycle, but the TCC slip never went below 200 RPM. And if you just tip the throttle a little, the TCC slip would increase even further. So we asked them to send us the valve body. So they sent us the valve body, and what you're seeing here now is the valve body after we tested it. So we have here is the test number one is before we repaired, and the test number two is after we reamed it. The purple represents the torque over clutch apply pressure, and the orange represents the TCC solenoid amps. So before we repaired it, uh, this we noticed that this valve body was only producing a maximum of 86 psi of TCC applied pressure. After we reamed it and repaired it and tested it again, it came out to 125 psi. Now that's about a 40 psi different. But what does this mean? Well, that's over 4,000 pounds of uh, applied force that's being lost in the torque converter. Now we tested this uh, at about 107 degrees Fahrenheit, but if this thing went up to 200 degrees as is normal it can on this units, we figure that that loss would probably be even more. So what we did here is we asked them to send us the converter so that we can see it. So let's go on to the next slide and we'll show you what was the results of inspecting the converter. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the apply piston from that converter from this van that we cut open. As you can see here, what was happening after a while of not having enough apply pressure, the clutch material in the piston would carbonize, as you can see all the way around. Now this serves as a seal between the uh, apply and release side. So what happens after a while being carbonized, a material will could come and fall off. Now, what would happen here is, as you can see here, we would have uh, apply pressure leaking into the release side, and that would cause this clutch to slip. Now, this is equivalent to having a stator bushing that is worn out. Or as if you recall in the early days when this uh, rivets would crack and would also leak, would also set this code. This is why this uh, van was leaving working fine because it takes a while to 
carbonize this clutch and then have these problems. So as you can see, it, it the problem is the valve body, but the one that's being blamed is the uh, uh, converter. And this is why we say that the valve body contributes to setting this code. So how do we correct this problem? Well, let's see on the next slide. Well, now the only way we're gonna be able to correct this problem is by restoring the integrity of the TCC regulated circuit. Now, the, here at Valve Body Pro, we don't even question this circuit. This is part of a standard rebuild procedure for us. We re, we re every single valve body and we install a new valve. Then we test it to make sure that it meets our criteria. We hope that this video can help you see how the valve body can contribute in setting this code. A code that, if not corrected, will come back one and time again because of a defective converter. We will be re uh, blaming the converter, but in reality, it is the valve body. Till next time, see you in our next video.